I've developed some practicing habits, if you will, through the years. And when I look back on them, it's quite easy to get an idea on what works and what does not. I realize that everything goes up and down in intensity. And therefore, we obviously also have times where we have the inspiration to practice a lot. And also periods where we don't really get as much done. I've been through a lot of different ways. Some worked well and some not as good. But there is a few very important points that, I will, that will leverage your playing in general. The first thing is to treasure your guitar playing so much so valuing it high enough to not become edged out by pretty much everything else that comes into your day. So I like to call it the emergency practicing plan, which means you choose some of the techniques and lessons that improve the sides that are most important to you, like a sweep picking pattern, an alternate picking sequence that really supports your playing or if you have a period where you want to focus more on tapping, legato or phrasing. Of course you need to decide the length of this emergency plan, but this plan is something you decide that no matter what happens in your life and through the day, you never end the day without at least being through your emergency plan. This will secure a steady level in your playing and this will avoid these periods where you are really busy with other things and then when that period is over you find that your playing really suffered from it and you maybe feel you need to start over to some degree or maybe even just give up because you might feel there's too much work to be done to improve it. Like I stated earlier, it's vital that you decide that your guitar playing is important and, in, and enough so it does not lose to stuff like watching TV and playing computer games. Of course there's also a time for those things, but I just want to make a statement that if you're not careful, your practicing and playing will lose to things that if you are completely honest, are not as important. But until the practicing session has become habit, they will feel like a bit of a chore where you don't see the benefits until some time has passed. And if so, there's no doubt that it is easier to play computer games or watching TV or socializing. So what needs to happen now is that you decide on a practicing plan that you stick to for three weeks with absolutely no days off. At the end of these three weeks you will find that the practicing has become a habit and this is the way that, you pr that your practicing will become a labor of love. Then from this daily practicing plan you can withdraw some of the lessons and make that into an emergency practicing plan that you never dislocate from. One important thing, don't stick to the emergency plan for too long at the time because you will most definitely feel a waning in your capabilities after only sticking to the emergency plan for a while. So to make it even easier to stick to your plan and get the most from your practicing, I suggest that you divide your practicing up in two or three chunks of time. So if you get some of the heavy practicing done in the morning, then a shorter, se then a shorter session midday and then always end your day with, for example, a sweep picking and an alternate picking session. Something magical happens when you do it this way. When you practice first thing in the morning and last thing of the day, you will get the benefits from that all through the day. Sort of like the first practicing session of the day keeps you warm through the day, especially with the addition of the midday practice, which can be something more loose and fun like songs and riffs. And then when you also end the day with the practicing playing, then you actually feel that in the next morning when you start again. There's nothing that can describe the satisfaction from keeping such a practicing schedule. What happens whenever you pick up the guitar is that you are ready to shred any time and can easily kick off the most challenging licks without it feels like a strain and you have to do endless warming up before you are able to play anything. I will also suggest that you check out the special workout section in the Secret Mechanics of Legato. So let me use myself as an example of what I'm talking about. I get up in the morning and I practice one sweep picking pattern and two alternate picking sessions and this lasts for about an hour or 75 minutes. And really, if you think this is crazy to do this before you go to work, then just use the, method, use the method of sticking to the plan for three weeks and feel that it becomes an incredible ha habit. Some people say to me, dude, I'm not getting up earlier to practice. I need to sit and drink my coffee and get the news before I go to work. But remember this, this has also become a habit and now it feels comfortable just because it is a habit. So we now have learned that habits are comfortable. 
So the next thing you can do is to decide if this habit improves anything for you. Instead of getting the news, you can practice and drink coffee. And once this has become a habit, it will feel as comfy as getting the news or whatever you do. Some people might think I'm weird, but I need my guitar in the morning. The cool thing about this is that I improve my chops this way. Now back to the plan. Then at the middle of the day, I go through a few solos and songs and try out new material I have composed to just play through a few of the songs I love by some of my heroes. This is the session you could do when you get home from work. Now think about what you are doing when you get home from work. And the first th impulse you might get is, man, I need to just relax in front of the telly or play a game or something. But again, remember these things are also habits and I'm not judging this or in any way saying my way is perfect. I just realized myself that habits that are considered bad to me can be exchanged to habits that are more helpful. And then finally, I love to end the day with something like an hour of alternate picking and some sweet picking. And to make it even more comfy, I hear some music or semi watch a DVD. Remember, if you are practicing something new, it's not a good idea to watch telly at the same time because the telly will draw too much of your attention. So if you are watching anything while you are practicing, let it be something you know extremely well so it will become a physical drill to some degree. And I'm of course talking about the guitar playing. After saying all this, I need to make clear that I'm not saying that anything is good or bad or telling you what you should do. Only you can do this and decide what uh, works best for you. I'm only giving you ideas that I have experienced a huge benefit from myself and I have seen those same benefits in my private students that have followed the suggestions.